what I'm going to do here, this is inside the head area, is I'm going to go open angle bracket meta, followed by a space and then name equals, and then in quotes, viewport. And then outside of the closing quote there, throw in a space and I'm going to go content equals and then I'm going to open up another pair of quotes and then let's go width equals device hyphen width followed by a comma and a space and then initial hyphen scale equals one just like that and then close off your angle bracket this is a self-closing tag here so again you and i could get into a, a pretty lengthy and detailed conversation about what exactly is going on here but the most important thing here is essentially what we're doing is we're turning off this thing called browser zoom or mobile browser scaling ensuring that our media queries are going to work and function properly What's the second step? Well, the second step is going to be to establish our media query breakpoints. And what I'm going to do here, and I should have mentioned this earlier, is I'm going to build everything here with you inside of an internal style sheet. The first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to blow out my default browser margins here. So I'm just going to type in an asterisk here and then a pair of curly braces. And I'm going to say margin full colon space zero followed by a semicolon no big deal this is something that I do all the time the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set up body rule here so body and then a pair of squiggly brackets and I'm going to say background and I'm going to use my RGBA color value and here's what I'm going to specify I'm going to go 255 comma zero comma zero comma 0.25 now as soon as I save up my file there's chrome previewing what I've done here. now what we're going to do next is we're going to go and establish our media query so I'm going to type in an at symbol this is how we do it and I'm going to type in media followed by a space and then screen and and then a pair of regular brackets. And here's the first condition min hyphen width full colon space. And then I'm going to say 768 PX. And then after the closing bracket there, the throw in a pair of curly braces like this. So as you can see here, all I did is I took body from above outside of the media query and pasted him into first media query that you and I have established. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this guy's background color. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the media query that we just inserted and the body rule, and I'm going to copy that. And then what I'll do is I'll paste just below. And what you and I are going to do is go and set up a second intentional media query but I'm gonna change this to 1200 pixels. Change his background color as well, okay? Let's save up our work. We see a change inside Chrome. As a matter of fact, if I scale my browser window wider, we get kind of this purplish color. If I scale down, there's green. If I continue scaling down, that's what we get. Okay, 